feel free to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and if you hated it and you want to dislike it. You know what? Give me a thumbs up energy. I mean, what? Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Claudianne, and right now I am filming a get ready with me with nowhere to go. Yeah, you know, it's we're in the middle of a pandemic, and so I'm not gonna just neglect my makeup routine and dressing up because we all need those days and so I'm gonna be getting ready from head to toe so right now I'm very fresh fresh faced and there's I don't have a full face on right now so we about to get about to get a little bit glammed up but right now my background's like a little crazy so let me just let me just fix it real quick you know just come back okay here we go so today I'm going to be doing typical everyday makeup routine I really don't switch it up when it comes to my makeup I pretty much use the same products and my eye makeup I'm not gonna hold y'all I don't really do anything crazy I seldom wear eyeshadow I just try to focus mainly on the skin and my eyebrows so also this video is not sponsored it's not sponsored though, so all the products that I'm using are products that I typically use all the time and they're products that I actually like to use, so non-biased. It's completely 100% my real opinions. So I'm gonna go, and well first I'm gonna moisturize. I moisturized earlier, but you can never moisturize enough. So I like to, I like to use the Olay Luminous Again, it's not sponsored, but I love this moisturizer because it's really light and what it does is it also keeps your skin one tone. So typically when it comes to darker complexions, you tend to get a lot of discoloration. I, I do have a little bit on my cheek, but like it's not that much. I just try to keep my skin as smooth and as like one toned as possible because it also helps minimize the amount of time I spend on my makeup. So I just like to go on my face and just rub it in just like so to get on my drier areas. For me that's like my cheeks. I go dry so easily it's not even funny. Also, oh my god. I do have these like, why it's weird, I do these weird like things under my eyes. And I think it just comes from like a sleep and stress. By the way, y'all, I've had the craziest year. Like, I just feel like a lot of new things have been happening in my life one by one, which is dope, but also like overload. <laughs> Cause I'm like between new internship, and new semester. It's just a lot, but you know, we are uh, feeling good over here. It's all good vibes, and I'm I'm honestly at a point in my life where I'm really really happy. So that's great. Um, for my brows, I like to use the Maybelline Brow Fast Sculpt. This is actually a gift from Maybelline from their on-campus program. And it's actually literally what I use all the time now So after I go in with that I like to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pomade and I've been using this stuff since I was 16 and I haven't changed it I just find that it just makes my brows look good and I've always been getting a lot of compliments on my eyebrows and, and how I get them done this is what I've been using for years so I'm gonna just I'm gonna just stick with it. So if I'm looking this way, I'm looking at my mirror, which is right in front of me. So yeah. <laughs> I like to outline it at the tip of 
my brow in the middle and fill it in with very light brush strokes so that way you know it's not completely black and sharp and super thick. When I was younger, um, I used to make my brows really intense and I thought that was cute, but it wasn't. So, and then at the end, I don't make it super defined. I just kind of, I just kind of fan it out at the end. Once it gets closer to the front, I like to make my bra brow brush super dupe. Like I like to squeeze it out. My nail is going to get it done. So I like to press it out and then go in with very teeny tiny brush strokes so that way it kind of mimics hair. It's like a little, it's like a little trick. It looks like your brows are just naturally that thick, but this is my natural brow. <laughs> so we're just gonna go in with these really, really thin microscopic, almost invisible lines. So I'm gonna do the rest off camera and then come back to you guys. For my brows, what I like to do next is just to clean them up a little bit around the edge and that's what I do to also prep for my foundation. So do that. I like to go in with a light concealer and my foundation and mix the two together and then line my brows that way. So when you get closer to your brow, try to minimize the amount of product you're using. Otherwise, you get a big gunky mess right by the top of your eyebrow. And when you try to blend it out with your sponge or your brush, I recommend a sponge, but if you put it blend with whatever you're using to blend in the product, it's going to get all over your brow. So once I finish with cleaning up my brows, I'm gonna go in with my below disposable and just blend it into my skin. So for my foundation, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Super Safe Foundation in the shade 340, which is also cappuccino. And I take quite a bit, I'm not gonna hold y'all, um, but I just go in with my cheeks, my forehead, my nose, and my chin. And I'm gonna go in and just lightly blend it in. I have struggled so much to find my right shade and the foundation. Like, when I tell you, I used to use this, I used to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I used to spend like 45 to $50 on foundation, which is kind of the average price of foundation at Sephora. But after realizing that I do not have to spend that much money, on the foundation that there's actually good quality foundations at a discounted or lower price. I was like, oh, no way, because I used to use, well, I used to use like BB cream and stuff from the drugstore, but it was never that good, it always broke me out, and so I stopped using them. Once I hit, I think like 17, 18, I started wearing more expensive foundation, but. So I'm gonna make sure that it's all blended. And then I, of course, like to go down to my neck. So I take a lot of time blending out my foundation because I wanna make sure that there's no creases and that all of the foundation is completely blended into my skin because, you know, if you rush it, you might get some blotchy spots or some lines of demarcation and you just wanna make sure that it's all blended. All right, I look really flat right now. So typically after I put on my foundation, I like to go in a highlight and contour, even if it's like a really natural everyday look. And the reason why is because after foundation, your skin looks super flat and you lose much of the 
dimension and structure in your face. So as you can see right now, my skin is super duper smooth. However, um, you lose some of the definition and my nose bridge and my eyes. You can't really see my cheekbones as much. And so we're gonna go in and we're gonna increase the definition in my skin. So to do that, I go in with a cream contour. And I actually used to use only powder contour. I did do another makeup video of some sort, but it wasn't really much of a tutorial. And so I didn't really go over what I was using. I was kind of just doing my makeup, but I started using cream contour. I feel like it just blends better my foundation and it lasts longer and it just looks good. So what I'm using now is the same CoverGirl True Blend, but instead it's in the shade Toasted Almond. So I'm going to be going in with my contour. I naturally have a button nose and so to kind of emphasize on that I like to go in a little bit of a circular pattern and just round it out a little bit more. I like to contour my nose because I find that after I finish putting on my foundation my nose looks completely flat and so I go in with my contour to bring back that definition but by no means am I trying to make my nose look smaller or adhere to Eurocentric standards of beauty because I love my nose the way that it is. I just like to bring back the definition and make sure that I'm not losing anything from the foundation. a lot. We're going to blend this out though. And so for under my eyes, I do it twice. So the first time I highlight under my eyes, I pretty much start out here and then I carry it all the way over there. This is I mind you, I'm not a makeup artist. It's probably the wrong way to do it, but it's kind of what works for me. So underneath here, my nose. Get into it, get into it. This is a look. With that being said, I think that is the end of this tutorial. So now I'm gonna blend this out. I wanna blend it out pretty quickly. So you want to be very, very careful and strategic when you get to the area around your nose. So for me, I like to let me take you in a little bit closer so you guys can see. So I like to go in and do it in a way where I'm also shaping my nose, depending on what you're going for. For me, I just hit exactly where I contoured. blend it as much as possible and then go up to my brow bone. And then for my nose, 
really tried too hard. I just kind of, <laughs> I just kind of blend it in. <laughs> I don't really think about it too much. I just, yeah. Okay, so now that my liquid cream base is done, I'm gonna go in with my powders. So I'm using the Laura Mercier setting powder for under my eyes. I found it really basic for say, wow. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier setting powder <laughs> in the shade Translucent. And that's gonna be going under my eye. Before I do that, I'm gonna go in with my Loose setting powder and warm saffron from Derma Blend, and I'm gonna be using that all over my face. I feel like my aesthetic is just white. My room is white with the exception of the green backdrop, but my room is white. My Instagram feed is white. I don't know how that happened, but it's kind of fell on my lap. And I've been buying a lot of white clothes lately and I haven't really realized it until lately. I was like, wait a minute, I'm putting a lot of white. Should be scared or not. I'm gonna be blending in with the same sponge that I use all the time. I don't use like the regular beauty blender. Those broke me out. I think it was like the wash I was using for it or something. I don't know. Like brushes or beauty blenders. Like I don't really, I like my disposables. I find that, you know. They're one and done, you use them once, you throw them out. They're cheap, they're effective. You don't gotta worry about washing them. Easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. So I wanna blend it all over my face, making sure that it's super duper smooth. And I like to mix together my Revolution baking powder in the shade Lace with my Laura Mercier setting powder. I like that the Lace has a pink undertone so it helps to brighten my under eyes and then yeah so I want to just mix the two together I'm not gonna hold y'all I put a lot <laughs> I do put a lot also my nose and my forehead. And under my eyebrows. Wow, that's bright. Okay, so this is my base. My lips are chapped, let me. This is the Jellylicious lip gloss, which is like, it's like watermelon flavored. Perfect. So now that I look like a practical ghost, I'm gonna go in with my bronzer. So for my bronzer, I like to use two stuff. The other one's not in front of me right now. I'm gonna go grab it and then come back and fix my lighting because right now I look like Casper, just, I, I don't know. I don't know. Like a little ghostly. Okay, my lighting is fixed. Um, so yeah, I like to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer and it's in the shade Cappuccino also. And then I like to mix it with this dying middle shade right here from my Sephora blush palette and it's in Spice Market. So I like to start out with my ABH bronzer and cappuccino. It's more of a cool tone, like it's not exactly my typical warm orangey bronzer. It's very cool, which I think works for contouring, but for bronzing, I like a little bit more of a warm tone, so that's why I use both. So I'm gonna be going in close to where I contoured. Go in 
with the orangey shade that I need to refill and mix that with the cappuccino. of me is back so I'm going to go in with some of that spice market bronzer I'm trying something new here so I'm gonna use well not really new but you know I didn't really plan to do this today but we're gonna try it so I'm gonna go in with that orange shade and use it almost as like an eyeshadow but not really right so for mascara I like to use the L'Oreal Voluminous Last Voluminous Voluminous Last Paradise Mascara, and I'm using the shade Black is Black. I have no lashes on. These are 100% my natural lashes that grew out of my eyeballs, pretty much. So, look at how well the mascara defines my lashes. It's just bomb. I look really crazy doing my lashes on camera, so I'm going to come back when I'm done. But just so you guys get the picture of the difference between one coat of the Lash Paradise and my natural lash, like, I'm going to zoom up so you guys can see. It's amazing. Like, it simply is amazing. But I'm going to do the rest off camera. So just so you guys can get a better look, I like to use this to line my lip. So I start off in the middle, I mean the, the middle of the edge. I am trying to find like the perfect dark lip liner for my skin tone. like black I feel like saliva just went down the wrong hole but yeah if it smells like plastic I'm not buying it It's a Maybelline, it's a Maybelline satin lipstick. I'll leave the details in the description box below or the comment section, but it's gonna go in the center. It's in the shade Caramel Frappuccino, and it does actually taste and smell like a caramel frappuccino. It smells like the one from Dunkin'. <laughs> but yeah. We're just going for a very shiny lip look today. And I'm, I'm digging it. I'm actually going to go in with some lash mascara under my lashes well under my bruh i'm gonna go in with some mascara i hardly put mascara um in this area but just because i'm feeling a little 
extra today and I don't feel like, you know, not being extra today. We're gonna go with some more. So lastly, I'm going to be going in with my Too Faced bronzer slash robe kit. Can't find it anywhere though. It is limited edition. I got it. Then I get this. I got it in 2019. And it's still... <laughs> it's still functioning. And the funny thing is like I, I use it like every day. So I, I just I use a very small, like I don't go in with my brush and like go ham. I just kind of start with my fingers and then I like to do it on my button nose just to make it look more buttony. I like to, makeup for me is not really to hide anything. I don't really try to hide imperfections with makeup. If anything, for me, I try to emphasize features that I like so for example I have a button nose and I love my button nose so I put some highlighter on my nose to make it look more buttony or like for example I have really big eyes my eyes are naturally pretty big so to make it bigger <laughs> I use some highlighter I just go in like right by where my waterline is right in this the mid of my eye. I go in with some highlighter. The inner corner highlight, you call it, but you know, sometimes we explain things around about over here. <laughs> but yeah. Try to match both sides as much. That concludes this get ready with me. I am going to go chillax, maybe get some homework done, but <laughs> that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this video. It's something different that I haven't really done on my channel. I haven't really done like a makeup tutorial and get ready with me type of video, but this is something new that I'm excited about and want to keep doing in conjunction with my Talk Tuesdays. So if you guys have any ideas for topics to talk, talk about for Talk Tuesdays, then drop in the comments below as well. And I'm really excited to start back the Talk Tuesday series on my channel again for the new year. I haven't done any Talk Tuesday video during the entirety of 2020 and so bringing them back would be pretty dope but also making more videos like this so feel free to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and if you hated it and you want to dislike it you know what give me a thumbs up energy give me what here give me um a thumbs up anyway because I put a lot of heart and soul and effort into making this video for you guys. Really appreciate it if you subscribe so that way you guys can see when I have a new upload. Also, there's the little notification bell next to the subscribe button. If you press that, you get notified every single time that I post. So, if you have a topic that you wanted me to discuss for Talk Tuesday and I post it 
and you're DMing me like, Claudia Ann, where is the video? I'll be like, well, it's on my channel, but you didn't see it. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it. Like this video, comment down below and show me some love because these videos take a lot of time and us creators put a lot of effort to make content for you guys. Thank you. All right, so that's the end of this video. I think I said that about 20 times, which means I'm running out of things to say, but that's it for this video and see you later. <laughs>